So see how Rosie is being, the chocolate lab is being too rough with this doodle. It's jumping on top of her and bullying her and beating her up. That's something that I need to be able to interrupt with her. Luckily, Coco has speed to get away from her. <laughs> but that's where your remote collar comes in handy. And my puppy plays like Rosie does, but worse. And so it's, you gotta be able to tell your dog no, cause this can scare another dog. Coco's handling it perfectly. <laughs> but if I need to, I can come in and tell her no and be able to touch her from a distance. Coco, come on. Coco, come on, good girl. Good, if they go too far, I can recall her back. So Rosie's over here. She's going to start playing with this dog. Bonnie, come here. Rosie, good girl. Good girl. I don't have any treats on me. What a terrible dog trainer. Get here, yay. Come on, lady. Or no else. No. In the mix. So these two. So now Bonnie's given Rosie a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> Coco wants to get in there. Coco! She actually wanted to go take care of that. She wanted to police the situation. Okay, I'm not going to see that. Bonnie! I'm going to get these dogs closer to us so we can see them. Good job, Bonnie. Come on, Rosie. Good girl. What a good girl. Good girl. Yay! That's a good girl. Good. So I'm actually using the other dogs to help Rosie out. Obviously, she didn't come with them that time, but there's nothing over there for her to want to stay with. Anyway, I just want you guys to see. Bonnie, come here. Come on. Come on. Bonnie. Thank you. I just want you to see a little bit of... No. Come on. Rosie. Come on. Come play over here where there's less poop, you guys. So, now Rosie has a toy, and she's going to play keep away with Bonnie. So this is where, when they're puppies, it's cute. Oh, they're just playing. And then later, this is where dog fights can break out. <laughs> Bonnie, come on. Good girl. Rosie. Come on, Rosie. Come on. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Here she goes. Yeah, being able to recall them back to you. Good babies. I know, no one else is sitting. Bonnie, leave her alone. Um, being able to recall your puppy back to you, interrupt the play when you need to, it's super, super important for good socialization or else they're going to take care of it themselves. And we all know what happens when we allow human four-year-olds to work it out on their own. <laughs> it's going to involve probably hitting and slapping and tears. And the same goes for the dogs. So being able to come in and help them out in this situation is really beneficial. And then you don't get dogs that aren't resource guarding all the time. They understand how to play properly. Come on, Bon. Good girl. Come on, Bonnie. Good. No, oh, she's not listening. I'm trying to get it so she doesn't drop the toy, but she comes back this way. Bonnie. Good girl. No, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Bye. Bonnie. <laughs> So if they go too far, I can recall them back. And again, Bonnie having a toy in her mouth is helping me out with Rosie. Bonnie, 
but she's just trying to get away from Rosie right now. So that's why she's not listening very well. Bonnie, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Bonnie. Oh, Rose is giving up. <laughs> Bonnie, come on. Good babies. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> so this is all good. This is also allowing them to understand, oh, these are the rules of the playing. This is, we can play tug of war. We just can't fight over the toy. We can run around and chase each other. We just can't hunt each other down and, you know, act like we're terrible. So there's rules, you guys. You just, you gauge it. If it looks too intense, you don't allow it to happen. And don't second guess yourself. Oh, Rosie got the toy. <laughs> Gonna rip in half. That poor tennis ball. So I always tell people there's also like, oh, there it is. <laughs> they each have one now. <laughs> Rosie might drop hers. Or Bonnie might drop hers. Oh, yeah, Rosie dropped hers because Bonnie has hers and she, she needs that one. Come on, Bon. Can you guys just do what you're doing right here next to me? Bonnie, come on. Good girl. I'm tapping my pager there. Bonnie. Come on. Oh, see, she dropped the toy. Come on. Where's your toy? So, yeah, the other thing is, you know, you don't want um, resource guarding. So, I always tell people, well, if your dog's resource guard, don't have toys out unless you're prepared to correct the situation and have a teaching moment. Hey, no, we're not. Coco, no, thank you. And that's the ability, this dog that's scared, Bonnie, no. This dog that's scared and freaked out about being around the pack, which is good for her. I'm also advocating for her. I'm not letting these dogs come up and completely bombard her. She just has to be out here. Noelle, is it so tough? Yeah, it's so fun. That's why I still have a leash on Rosie, because I need some way of being able to handle her. Coco, come on. Coco, good girl. If I don't want them playing over there. Oh, good job, Noelle, getting out of the way. I can call them over here, and they can play over here. So many trucks and trailers and storage units. <laughs> Just covering up our house. Come on, Coco. Bonnie. Come on. Rosie. Good babies. Good. So, yeah, being able to tell your dog not to bully each other. When to drop the toy, when to come back over here. It's really, really beneficial. And then you don't have two dogs running around starting to get out of control and you can't catch them. It's so important to have that communication with your dogs. It makes for good dogs. Bonnie, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Bon. This is good girl. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Rosie's not very fast, and she's getting tired. Bonnie, no. Bonnie's eating something that she's not supposed to. I can tell her no, and guess what? She comes away from it. Rosie's being too rough. Bonnie, no. Coco, come on! Here, Coco's saying that's too much. Hey, 
Rosie, no. So I come over and help her out. If I have a collar on the dog, I can do that from a distance. No. No. Teaching your dog that that's it, that's enough. That's too rough for me. I don't want to play like that. This is how you teach your dogs to play with littler dogs. This dog is, she's only six months old. She's going to keep growing. Good. Settle it down and I can go to play again. But it's important to have that off switch or that no. So, you know, having the remote collar on Rosie. Rosie. No. So now I have a litched no follow through. She doesn't get to walk away. Step on your leash. Hey. Thank you. Asking for a little bit of engagement there. Of just acknowledgement that I'm talking to her. <laughs> then we can let it go again. In close quarters, you can have that ability, but if they're running at a far, how are you going to be able to go and stop that? I had to run over there and quit it because poor Coco was getting beat up on ya. She wasn't in a position to want to run away, so. Now Rosie's going to go see what Bonnie's doing. Bonnie, come on. Good babies. Rosie. Rosie. Oh, Rosie's not going to listen because she has to pee. Come on, Rosie. Come on, good girl. Yay, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. All right, you guys. This is a video on the benefits of a remote collar. All of these dogs have them on. Even this little one. Except Rosie. And that's why she's dragging a leash. And that's why she's coming back for her big girl boarding train soon. But she's getting to the point where, you know, she's six months old, right? Between six months and two years is when they go through their naughty teenage stage and start getting extra naughty. And bad behaviors come out. Rosie, no, good girl. Good girl. So building a little bit of that communication, but she's done playing. She's a little bit tired. And I just had some communication with her that meant, I'm serious. Huh. Yeah, little ladies. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.